Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your Thursday, May 16th love reading. This is for uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We will go in that order. Um, I'm making this into one video, but I am doing each zodiac separate. So just because the energy starting today is huge for this full moon we have going on this weekend. So um, I did want to split up the energies for the dailies. I'm just doing it in video still by element. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I appreciate each and every one of you that have. You are such a blessing along my spiritual journey, and I'm so glad that you allow me to be part of yours as well. So, thank you for that. All right, we're going to start with, um, let's see, let's start with Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit, guides, and angels, what do Taurus need to know about Thursday, May 14th? Moving into the weekend. What do they need to know and love? What is their energy? All right. The Ten of Pentacles is how you're coming in. The person you are dealing with. Who is Taurus dealing with? The Two of Pentacles. Could be another Earth sign. The energy coming in for the two of you. Is the six of wands spirits advice what is spirits advice for Taurus and moon rising in Venus the hermit will be dealing with a Virgo your outcome is the eight of Swords with the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Moon. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Wands. Next card out of the deck is the Fool and Justice. So, um, could be getting a new beginning in the in the long, you know, future outlook. But let's see what we got going on for today and the next couple days. So, um, the need to the need to focus on yourself to um, try to regain your bearings. This could um, this energy is kind of difficult for you. You could have been a part of a third party or you had a third party, um, but the need is still here to replenish your energy to focus on yourself and um, making your abundance in life. Um, making sure you're provided for, making sure, you know, that you are taken care of. You're coming to the end of a very stressful situation, a very stressful uh, relationship with somebody who either put you in a third party or you were in one. Um, so the need is to focus on yourself, to regain your, um, your nourishment that you need, you know, you're just emotionally drained, you're tired, and you need to relax and uh, recover from that. You are, you are coming to the end of a cycle. You are at the end of a cycle. Now you're putting it down. You know that uh, things are over. Yeah, uh, most definitely with another earth sign. Well, not most definitely. That isn't what I meant because I'm doing Taurus. This is over and you are um, moving away from that family situation. You're going very slowly. But that's only because you feel you have to, um, you know, the the knight and the queen only have one pinnacle. So you're going from ten pinnacles to one pinnacle. So you're, you're going slow because this is a big change for you. A huge change. The person you're dealing with um, is up and down all over the place. Emotionally, financially, they could have just lost a job or, you know, they're, they're in and out of jobs. Um... This person could be juggling more than one person, and that's why this relationship is coming to an end. Why is this two of pentacles here for Taurus's person? But this is, um, they're going to get it figured out. They're going to um, figure out that balance within themselves. Uh, they are no longer stressing out about, about the situation. They're no longer up in their head or um, 
worrying about what's going to happen in the future. There is successful energy coming in for you, Taurus. There could also be a Sagittarius um, or Aries or Leo, but more so Sagittarius because it is just a minor arcana. But what's this? All right. So um, you're going to successfully move away from this person with the chariot. Um, you're going to have a lot of success when you break out of this cycle. This is the end of a cycle. You're moving forward. Um, you're going to successfully get out of this situation um, with your finances intact, for one. Let's get another one for that. What is this chariot all about? Why does Taurus have a chariot? For some of you, you're successfully moving towards a Sagittarius. If you have Taurus in your moon or Venus. Why is this chariot here? Okay. So, um, Taurus, you are moving away from an, an unhappy home. Um, there... There was somebody in your space that was using um, emotional, like, abuse towards you. Well, not abuse, but, like, they were, like, mind-fucking you, just to put it out there. Um, that That's why you have stayed in this for so long, or you did this to a Virgo. So, Taurus, if you are with a Virgo, you are the one that was manipulating them to try to stay for the children. Because you're making them feel guilty for wanting to leave. And um, you are using the kids as uh, a way to get them to stay. If it's not you, they did this. To, if you didn't do this to them, they did this to you for this group of you. But you're now seeing that you're better off leaving as well or vice versa. Remember, these energies can be um, back and, you know, back and forth. So Spirit's advice to you is to take a step back, to retreat to disconnect from all the outside um, influences, all the outside voices, um, all the people who have two cents put in about it. It's time to go within and see what you really want because you don't see a new, or you don't see how you can have this new opportunity for big love with this Virgo or um, whoever you're with. It doesn't have to be Virgo. It's just somebody who is very closed off, you know, kind of t keeps to themselves. But you don't see how you can have an abundant big love with this person because of all the cheating or lying or deceit in the past. Now, it's in the reverse, so it's in the past. But you just can't seem to get over that. Um, so Spirit is saying to go, go within and see what it is that you truly want. Do you want this new beginning? Do you want this opportunity for big love or do you want to move on? Because um, for some of you, you're doing one thing and saying another. Uh, you know, you you don't want to put up with this deceitful energy, but then you try to talk them into staying for the kids type of energy. Um, and at the end of the day, you're just feeling stuck. You have this fear of being abandoned. Um, but somebody's coming in telling you the truth of how they really feel. And this could, um, well, let's see what the clarifiers are. I have the Five of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Swords. Ooh. And the Moon. Oh, lots of secrets. The Moon. Okay, Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck another cycle ending, but you feel s stuck and trapped, um, very emotionally drained after being a part of a third party. Um, like I said, this person was juggling energies. Uh, you're very conf you, you're very confused about what, how this all happened, but you're just really scared of having this financial hardship, um, due to this person having too many options, um, and then, uh, possibly choosing somebody else. They are coming in telling you the truth, Taurus, um, yeah, with the page of swords in reverse, they're letting it all out. Something that, um, was hidden before is no longer hidden. They're making a choice, a decision to put themselves first and to walk away. And remember, this can be vice versa. So if this is you, Taurus, just 
put it where it fits. Um, and the outcome is uh, the moon. So the secret's out that this marriage or this long-term commitment or this relationship is is unsuccessful. It's it's failing. The foundation is broken. It's crumbling. And one of you is walking away. And that truth is coming out today or in the next, like I said, throughout the weekend um, because of a third party and a lot of options for your other person. That's kind of rough. It could The secret coming out too is if you have Virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo, whoever has that Virgo energy um, could be the one that declines the, the opportunity for this new love or for the second chance. Um, yeah. But you are going to move forward successfully. So remember that, that this is what what the future energy is coming in for you. And you're still looking absolutely amazing on uh, on your shared energy. So right now this could feel kind of rough, but um, you're going to see why this all had to happen. Um, as soon as you get away from the, the situation, um, when you get, when you get for, far enough away, that's when things are going to become clear to you. You know what I mean? Oops. You know what I mean? Like right now you can't see it because you're so close to it. You're in it. But once you, um, take a step back and, see everything that happened, you know, kind of take that hangman um, approach to it. It's going to be, you're going to see things for what they are and you're going to successfully move forward. Um, your two cards are, um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and forgiving and learning as you heal from the past and experience, when you heal and release from the past, you experience more love in your current moments. So, you know, once, like I said, once you get out and away from this relationship, you're going to see that everything that had happened was, was pointing to this, was trying to get you to move forward in a, in a better, um, situation and a better relationship, uh, for yourself. All right. Your card of guidance. Sorry. That was such a bummer summer reading Taurus. I wish, I wish it was more positive. But like I said, with this energy, things are ending. Cycles are coming to a completion. And uh, it's going to be hard on some people, I said in the beginning. Um, a lot harder on some people than others. Your um, guidance card for the day. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or ocean, to recharge your batteries. You will heal through, this, um, through the water energy. You will um, be able to detox some of those emotions um, and some of those uh, negative thoughts uh, after going through this situation. 